Hello, everyone. Finally, the SPY is above 413. We're going to take a look at earnings for tomorrow. We're going to take a look at what the next steps are for the market. This video is going to be nice, short, and sweet. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, put on your post notifications, and let's get started with the video. All right, first of all, we know that banks have earnings tomorrow morning. So we have um, Chase, Citibank, Wells Fargo, BlackRock, and the IWM is most likely going to get affected by this very, very heavily. So it's going to be very, very important. So currently, I got into SPY puts two weeks out. I'm going to explain why. But right now, that's what we're currently taking a look at. We have big, big news tomorrow morning for these banks. Next, we have core retail sales tomorrow, pre-market at 8.30, along with the earnings for the banks. And then at 10 a.m., we have preliminary consumer sentiment data. So 10 a.m., remember, we cannot be holding on to any positions during that time. It will just be considered very risky and not safe. All right, very simply, I was saying that in yesterday's video, there would most likely be a run-up into earnings, all right? Very clearly, right? It goes alongside what I was talking about. The IWM had a run up into the close. The SPY had a run up. Obviously, we closed above 413. Clearly, things looked very bullish. And again, I was saying that generally with earnings, so large tech earnings, for example, when Apple, NVIDIA, Amazon, Tesla, all of these other companies have earnings, very close. So either the day before or that same day, there is usually a run up, meaning the price increases increases heading into the earnings date. So that is very similar to what I think ended up happening here. So the IWM showed a lot of strength. The SPY also showed a lot of strength heading into earnings for tomorrow morning. And, you know, from a technical standpoint, all right, very, very clearly, this is exactly what we wanted, <laughs> right? We've been, we've been talking about this for the past week and a half. We wanted this to break above 4.1250 and it even closed above this downtrend level from back in august so you can see that this downtrend level we closed above the 412 level as well as this downtrend level so this is technically what we wanted from a bullish standpoint but the issue is that this is head it basically it's very close to resistance and i'm not entirely convinced about tomorrow morning's uh, earnings on the banks so that's why instead of getting something very aggressive to the to the short side right we bought into puts two weeks out at the money so they're not you know they're not going to be um they're not going to take a huge hit is what i'm saying basically and instead of directly shorting or playing any of these bank stocks directly right um i would much rather just go ahead and trade it in that way basically the puts for two weeks out if it doesn't work out and we end up you know skyrocketing for tomorrow right and we if the banks beat earnings and they do really really well and we gap up on the spy and the nasdaq etc 417 so 415 to 417 417 is going to be a major major level of resistance on the spy and if we don't gap all the way up there right uh we could just lean long um throughout the day honestly until we hit 417 then things can get very very difficult for another break but 417 then 419 but overall it makes sense to lean a bit short in my opinion um obviously the spy looks very very strong the nasdaq clearly looks very very strong as well um we cleared we cleared above these levels of resistance closed above them all right technically looks strong right the iwm has not yet closed above this major level of resistance that we had nor has it closed above the 180 level so it's still trading below levels of resistance but one other reason that i wanted to go short aside from the iwm was the um chips so nvidia i wanted to go short nvidia around 266 and it fell down to 264 and i wanted to swing these as well um nvidia is showing a lot of weakness and if these chips are showing weakness then it's a good sign that the rest of the tech stocks are also going to fall so nvidia looks weak to me right amd also looks weak to me so because specifically these two stocks look very weak it helped me uh basically want to go short and then not to mention tesla also looked 
week. It didn't get a break above uh, yesterday's high. We barely got a close into the 50% of the recent um, of yesterday's candle. And again, it doesn't look that strong. So Tesla, Nvidia, and AMD were the main reasons. Aside from wanting to short essentially um, the earnings for banks, these are the main reasons why I wanted to go short overnight. And um, things, you know, it makes sense, honestly, in my opinion. This is a decent trade. Um, I would have also, honestly, I really, really wanted to go short on Microsoft as well. <laughs> uh, even though Microsoft clearly had a very, very strong candle here, I wanted to go short on Microsoft. Uh, I can't, sh I could basically uh, on the five minute chart, Microsoft is basically creating a rising wedge. So I would have to make this for you guys real quick. But basically, it's um, I don't. It's not going to look perfectly on my screen, but this is what I had on my chart earlier. So Microsoft is making a very and two eighty nine to two ninety is major resistance on Microsoft. So we're creating a rising wedge pattern heading into a level of resistance. So that's like a that's a beautiful situation as well because rising wedge patterns are very very bearish. And um, yeah, I mean, overall, you have so many different reasons to be short. The only thing that would cause this to rip up is an explosive move to the upside. And I would be very, very shocked for that to happen. But um, yeah. Uh, also, a few other things is um, I physically was not able to stream these past few days only because I had some personal things I needed to take care of as well as there are a few um, business related things that I needed to take care of and I physically just would not be able to uh, stream while I was doing those other things. I am not going to obviously stop streaming. Um, I just needed some time to get the uh, get things figured out and um, yeah, I would not, <laughs> I'm not going to stop streaming at all. So yeah, I, I'm very sorry for um you know causing stress and not keeping you guys in the loop properly and everything that was my fault i should have uh, let you guys know but um yeah definitely not going to stop streaming and things are moving along nicely with everything else that's going on the <laughs> auto trading crypto bot is should also be ready to be rolled out very soon also um <laughs> that is working out really well and yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and you know continue to share all that stuff things are moving along really nicely so things are gonna you know just just keep it keep in mind things are gonna go uh and continue to do really well but once again you know thank you guys for all of your support and your love and your concern with everything and um i'm gonna be here and i'm going to continue to help and be here to um you know make things work we're gonna make it all work together all right so there's that i mean I, I can't really think of anything else the only other thing that i want to ask you guys was um i'm most likely going to also start making a separate youtube video specifically targeting uh crypto so i'm specifically going to be targeting um bitcoin ethereum and the different uh, l1 tokens as well as some different um you know fast movers in crypto and then we're going to talk about crypto news so similar to what i'm doing with the stock market news i'm also going to be uh talking like i'm gonna have like a separate video purely focused on crypto so um yeah let me know what you guys think about that um aside from that i'm also going to have a specific youtube video designated every single day talking about um the trades that i take so i'm going to be going in detail about the trades that i would be taking on you know a one minute chart obviously and i'm going to explain why i would enter and exit every single trade and go into detail with that so that is also going to happen on a daily basis as well so yeah let me know if you guys how you guys feel about all that stuff and if you guys would be interested and uh what else what l let me know what else i could do um to make things um more enjoyable for you guys because you guys are here every day and um i you know i'm trying to make it as beneficial to everybody and fun for everybody as possible so 
yeah just please let me know what i could do differently uh what your thoughts concerns are if there's ever anything that i could do better do not hesitate to tell me like i do not care like don't worry about hurting my feelings or anything like that the whole point is to try to be better if there's something that i could do to be better please let me know because um yeah i i would much rather you guys be critical or um tell me what i could be doing better instead of you know not telling me all right so uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to like comment subscribe do all that good stuff and i will see you guys hopefully i might be able to be streaming tomorrow but worst case i will definitely be back on monday all right love you guys take care have a good one